on this edition of Titans All Access. Are you ready for some December football? The Tennessee Titans are, and they're ready for a game at Nissan Stadium. The Titans host the Cleveland Browns, and John Robinson has a full preview of the rematch of the 2019 season opener. A.J. Brown wired for sound and wired for action from Indy. Beneath the surface diagrams, outstanding Titans offensive line play. And you'll meet kicker Steven Guskowski in the Nissan Insider. All that and much more on Titans All Access, which starts right now. The monster, Derek Henry. Sacked! Rashawn Evans, A.J. Brown to the house. Brian Tannehill taking him to school. Welcome to Titans All Access with Amy Wells. I'm Mike Keith, and this is your home of the first place Tennessee Titans, first place in the AFC South. After a huge win at Indianapolis last weekend, 45 to 26. But on this edition of Titans All Access, we're moving on. Last week is last week. This week is this week. The opponent, Sunday, 12.02 Central Time, the Cleveland Browns. And so we're going to jump right in. No, to we're not. Mike. That's a horrible idea. That was the, one of the biggest wins all season. We beat the Indianapolis Colts at Lucas Oil Stadium. I'm living in that moment. Don't take this away from me. You're calling an audible? I'm, I'm not even calling an audible. I'm demanding an audible. She's demanded an audible. I want to see it. Show me, the, show me the highlights, Mike Keith. Today, Tennessee tries to even the series with Indianapolis, knowing that Sloppy won't cut it here at Lucas Oil Stadium. It out right side, Henry to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Touchdown, Titans! Derrick Henry catches a TD. 45-40, 35-30, 25-20, 5, end zone. Touchdown, Titans! Davis with the catch at the 5, Davis down to the 1. What a sliding grab by Davis. Henry on the left side. No! Tannehill <laughs> cap! Yeah. Finger roll! Touchdown, Titans! Titans blitzing. Here they come. Rivers in trouble. Sack! Big Jeff! <laughs> Onside coming. <laughs> the Titans catch it. 30, <laughs> 20, 10, 5. <laughs> end zone. <laughs> A.J. Brown! <laughs> As the Titans come to Indy and get it done again. So we turn from last Sunday's big win to the next game on the schedule, a home date with the Cleveland Browns this Sunday at Nissan Stadium. Time for our Farm Bureau Insurance Scouting Report with the general manager, John Robinson. And John, as I look at Cleveland and I watch how they play offense and defense and how they run special teams, new coach Kevin Stefanski seems to have a plan in place much like what the Titans want to do on a week-to-week -week basis. Do you see the similarities? Yeah, there, I mean, I think there's some, some carryover there between, you know, when you start to look at, at both clubs. They're pretty multiple on defense. You know, they'll play a four-man line with three backers. They'll play a three-man line with... You know, they're outside linebackers slash defensive ends in a two-point stance, much like we do with our guys. And offensively, you know, it's a big offensive line. They try to try to lean on you. A couple of really good running backs, a lot of tight ends involved in their packages, a lot of play action pass, a lot of bootlegs. So there's a lot of carryover or similarities, I would say, between our team and theirs. Now, you mentioned their running backs. They have two guys that are pretty dominant in Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt with 700 yards, over 700 yards rushing. How is it that they are able to generate their run game no matter who's back there? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it starts up front, obviously, with, with the line. Uh, it's, it's a big line. It's a tough physical line with a first-round pick on the left side and Conklin, obviously, over there on the right side. Try to move guys off the football, get downhill. They do a really good job of, of, of hitting cutback seams, both Chubb and Hunt do. They're similar built backs. Stature-wise, they're both compact with, with, you know, really thick, strong lower bodies that can take on that load, you know, on the inside uh, running game. Jarvis Landry, the veteran receiver, eight catches, 143 yards and a touchdown at Jacksonville on Sunday. 
How does this guy keep doing it, and why is Jarvis Landry such a matchup problem for opposing defenses? Well, he's such a smart football player, Mike. You know, they, they play him outside, they, they play him inside. There was a play that we watched as a, as a team, you know, earlier this season where they needed to clock the football and, and Jarvis noticed something formationally that, that was awry and he's yelling at one of his teammates to, to get on the ball so they didn't get a penalty and, and have a 10 second runoff. He's dependable, he's got really strong hands, good in traffic, and he's really good with the ball in his hands. So, you know, he's been a problem in this league for a long time. Baker Mayfield continues to make plays at quarterback. Why is he so effective in this offense? Well, I think they're doing a good job of utilizing his skill set. You know, he's got he's got a good arm, but they're moving him around. He's an athletic guy. They're letting him get out on the perimeter uh, on some of these boot passes and, and getting these tight ends involved in, in crossers in the play action game, you know, really playing off the ability to run the football and things are opening up for him. John, have the Titans faced any team this year that posed the specific challenges that the Cleveland Browns will this Sunday? Yeah, I mean, we've played some really good football teams, Mike, but, you know, th this is another one this week, as, you know, as evidence with their record. You know, they've, they've won eight ball games, so they've beaten a lot of good football teams as well. They've got a, you know, they got a potent offense, a potent running attack with playmakers at tight end and receiver. They're aggressive defensively, you know, with playmakers really at, at all levels of the defense. We'll have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. John, thanks so much for being with us for the Farm Bureau Scouting Report of this week's opponent, the Cleveland Browns. Thanks, guys. Always good seeing you. All right. When we come back, it's time for the coach himself, Dave McGinnis, to join us for this week's Beneath the Surface. Stay tuned for more Titans All Access. This is Coach Mack. Welcome to Beneath the Surface, powered by Microsoft Surface. Today, we are going to look at the extraordinary blocking by everybody on the offensive unit that led to Derrick Henry's huge day running the football in the first half, 140 yards, three touchdowns. Let's watch and see out of various personnel what they did against a very good run defense, the Indianapolis Colts. First thing we've got here, we've got motion by the tight end across. He's going to yo-yo motion back. This is a deceptive play. This is called a belly flip. Watch the motion as it comes back, attracts the eyes of the linebackers at the second level. Now watch everybody get a hat on a hat and pull to get out in front of this belly flip. Everybody pulls, number 72 out front, great block. This is an extremely, extremely well thought out play, very well blocked by everybody on this offensive unit. Nice deceptive play, big game for Derrick Henry. Now we're looking at first and tenths on the 12 yard line. Look at the blocking downfield. This is a run. This was a lateral thrown behind the line of scrimmage, behind Derrick Henry. It's labeled as a run, but I want to highlight the blocking. Watch the cut block on the right side by Kelly. Then watch the downfield blocking by the wide receivers. Everybody, hat on a hat. You're going to hear me say a lot of that through this presentation. Hat on a hat. Everybody's creating scenes for Derrick Henry, and then he does what he does best. Head towards the goal line. Touchdown, Titans. Let's take a look and see what they do now. Now the tight end comes back in the backfield. Now we've got an eye formation. The front is still set to the right. Look at the huge hole that's, that's created because they confused Indianapolis's front, the way they've got it set, and then watch the gaping hole that they have. Watch the blocks across the front. The offensive linemen do a tremendous job. Watch your fullback that was a tight end that moved back there come up. Nice block. Then Derrick Henry, with that much room, when he can get to his fourth or fifth step, with that much air, he's going to eat up a lot of grass. This is a great job of manipulating the defense with formations and then everybody getting a hat on a hat again and creating huge holes so Derrick Henry can get running very, very quickly. Now what we're going to look at, blasting game, watch his block, watch the rest of the blocks across the right side of our offensive line. They move the tight end off the line of scrimmage to get a little bit of eye candy for the Indianapolis defense. And then this is a pure weak side lead. This is basic football, weak side lead, man on man. Great, great area for Derrick Henry to stick his foot in the ground. He gets this close to the goal line. He's going in. 
Now this is an onside kick. Watch the onside kick group block. Everybody coming down. The kicker kicks it short. And A.J. Brown, a very alert, he attacks the short kick. He attacks the football and has got a clean sailing into the end zone. Watch this group on the hands team block up front. A.J. Brown attacks the short kick. Touchdown Titans, a great exclamation point to a tremendous offensive day for the Tennessee Titans. When Titans All Access returns, A.J. Brown scores touchdowns and even predicts them. Wired for Sound is next. A.J. Brown is good at football. He's good at a lot of things specifically within the game of football. Let's think about this. He's good at catching. Yes, he's good at catching. He's good at run after catching. Yeah, yeah, he can run. And he's good at predictions. He is good at predictions. He is. As you will see in this week's Wired for Sound from the win over Indianapolis, A.J. Brown good at a lot of things, including calling his shot. Today, Tennessee tries to even the series with Indianapolis here at Lucas Oil Stadium. Oh boy, I think they had you. Oh boy, I think they had you. I think they had you. I was crazy, boy. It's high than the lows. I love the lows, but today, hey, give me right. Give me ready for the highs, boy. I'm telling you. Smith motions to the left, Tannehill in the gun. Blitz coming, Tannehill firing, pass caught, Brown 45-50, 45-40, 35-30, 25-20, 15-10, 5, end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Juan Brown, 70 yards, touchdown, Titan! Body, 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 that's what you do, bro. That's what you do. I don't even check the yards. I just, I just play. After the game, I don't even check how much I got. I just, whatever, get, whatever I get, I get. You running that thing, boy. High formation. Tannehill gives Henry on the right side, trying to get to the corner. Henry. Touchdown, Titans. Had to wait for the signal, but the big man got it inside the pylon for the big six. Let's get this money. That's easy work. That's easy work, two two. Play fake. Tannehill rolling right, looking downfield, throwing, caught. Brown with an excellent catch at the mark. But that good on Sunday, boy. We on Sunday. Here they come. Tannehill firing complete. Right side making the catch is Brown. If I return the, the onside kick, I'm gonna go with my receiving yard. Sanchez to kick off. Onside coming. It's in high in the air. The Titans catch it. 30, 20, 10, 5, end zone. AJ Brown! <laughs> Touchdown, Titans! <laughs> hey. That's a kickoff return for a touchdown to put this one in the bank. I called it. We called it. Nice ride out. Yes, sir. I love you, baby. <laughs> I love you, baby girl. Final score: Tennessee 45, Indianapolis 26. As the Titans come to Indy and get it done again. Love Wired for Sound. I do too. Always good. Yes. Next up, something else we love, the Nissan Insider. Let me give you a hint who it is. Okay. Could be anybody. I don't know. Fred Astaire. <laughs> no, actually, it's Steven Goskowski, the Titans kicker. He's next on Titans All Access. I think I was thrown off by your form. Form was excellent. It was not good. It was a punter, not a kicker. Mm. That's the problem. Welcome back to Titans All Access. It is time for our Nissan Insider. It is kicker Steven Goskowski. In his first year with the Tennessee Titans after 14 highly successful seasons with the New England Patriots. But for him, a lot of the storyline of 2020 is coming back home. That, I'm sure, made the Tennessee Titans an appealing place for him. That's right. He's from Madison, Mississippi, which is just outside of Jackson. But he was a Memphis Tiger, played football and was a baseball player there. And he's glad to be back in Tennessee where it all started years ago. 
Steven Gaskowski. Gaskowski's kick is up, and his kick is good! For the lead. Snap, set, kick, good! Stevie G puts it through for 51 on the way. Stephen, I want to ask you to begin with if everything we heard in the offseason was true, and that is your interest in playing for the Titans was predicated by a move of your family to Middle Tennessee. Do I have that right? Yeah, I mean, that's part of the story. I mean, my wife's from Memphis, and I went to school in Memphis, obviously, and when my time with the Patriots was up, you know, we decided that, you know, the greater national area was going to be where we were going to go. And uh, I was lucky enough to have an opportunity to try out for the Titans. It seemed like a, a good coincidence not to turn down. After a wildly successful career, how hard was an off season of so many things being up in the air about what came next for you? I mean, I'm not going to say that it was hard. I mean, it's obvious there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, you know, anytime you get to play for a long time in the NFL, you know, you got to consider yourself blessed. I was lucky enough to get 14 years in I'm up in New England, and you play this long, it's it's icing on the cake. At, on top of it, it's a tough business to be in because it doesn't last very long, and there's a lot of uncertainties, and you know, you're always a couple games or an injury away from never playing again. And I think the hardest thing was was just rehabbing my surgery I had last year, kind of on my own. You know, doing um, Peloton on workouts and you know watching YouTube videos and working out on my own so I think that was the hardest thing and you know then only having one week of practice before the first game was odd but I think everything about this year has been odd and just kind of have to roll with the punches you know things don't always go your way right away and you just have to keep your head up and persevere and uh, you know move on and try to help your team win tell us about your family what about your children Yes, yeah, so I have three kids. I got uh, two boys and a, and, a, and a girl. I got a 10-year-old, a 7-year-old, and a 4-year-old, Slade and Gannon and Lila. And, you know, they, they've become great, great big Titans fans now, so it's, it's pretty cool. I think I've seen them in the stands already, haven't I? I'm sure if you, if you, you know, saw the only two, two, kid, two boys with uh, number three jerseys dancing around, that was, that's probably them. How has that changed your perspective about your job as an NFL player? having children who are now old enough to really know what's going on in your life. It's cool. I mean, you know, it, 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 it's pretty funny, but, it, you know, I guess some of your words come back to bite you in the butt. You know, you know I missed a kick the other day, and my son comes home, and he tells me I need to practice some more. So you got uh, you got some stuff like that going on. It's kind of hard to argue with him because every time he does something wrong in his sports, I tell him we need to do more practice. So I guess you learn a little bit from your kids. And, you know, I've been very fortunate and blessed. I mean, my – my oldest son has been to, to five Super Bowls, which, you know, is, is crazy to think about. And it's it's kind of cool, you know, but at the same time, I don't think they realize how, you know, how lucky they, they are being able to uh, experience going to NFL games all the time and playoff games and Super Bowl parades and stuff like that. And hopefully, uh, you know, one day they'll really get to appreciate it. Would you have thought 20 years ago that you'd be pitching in the big leagues or kicking in the NFL? Well, I mean, my whole my my whole life I wanted to play baseball, but uh, you know my my kick stopped curving and my curveball started going a little bit straighter, and that kind of made the decision for me. Well, you've had a lot more success than failure in your career, and for Titans fans, we think about the 55-yarder at Minnesota to win the ball game. It's a long kick to start with, and it was your sixth kick of the day. So when you're going onto the field at that point, I'm dying to know what's your mindset at that moment. Well, a day like that where you know, you've already made a ton of kicks, you know, that's when it becomes kind of easy because you're just in the zone and in rhythm and you feel really good and you live for, for moments like that because those are the moments that you can can show that, you know, you know what you got mentally and then you can really prove yourself to a team. You know, I think to me the, the most important kicks happen at the end of the game and, you know, those are the only opportunities where you can really show a little bit of toughness at our position. It makes you feel alive, makes you feel like you're really part of the game and, and was, was thankful for that opportunity. We're thankful you're here and we hope that your son, your oldest son, can go to his sixth Super Bowl come February. Amen. Always great to hear from the kicker, but you know what else is great, Mike Keith? What's that? Your keys. Oh, and well, thank you. Yeah, that's my favorite part of the show, and it's coming up on the other side of this break. Stick around. On the next Titans All Access, 
we're ready to hit the road for round two with the Jacksonville Jaguars. We'll introduce you to all 10 of the 2020 Tennessee Titans Mr. Football Award winners. John Robinson, Coach Mack, the Nissan Insider, Mike and Amy. It's a really big show. The next Titans All Access. Mike Keith, I can't wait any longer. Give me your keys to a victory over the Cleveland Browns. Key number one, very obvious. Cleveland has the number one rushing attack in the NFL. Titans just can't let them run the ball the way they want to. Big stat for Cleveland is not 161 rushing yards per game, to me at least. Their most impressive stat, five yards per carry. So whether it's Nick Chubb or it's Kareem Hunt, got to get them on the ground and keep them from getting that run game started. You've got to win the line of scrimmage with your defense and not let them run the ball. All right, yeah, you're right. That's pretty obvious. Do you have another key that's less obvious? Not really, but <laughs> I, here's the second one. The second one is take care of the football. The Cleveland Browns defense has forced 17 turnovers this year. That's a lot. They do a good job taking the ball away. And so just like you did in Indianapolis, take care of the football. This is a team that makes plays on defense. Don't let them do it. All right, give me your third key. I'm assuming it's something also incredibly obvious. It is. Captain Obvious here with another one, and I'm talking about Miles Garrett and Olivier Vernon. They have a combined 14 and a half quarterback sacks. Please protect Ryan Tannehill. Take care of the Titans quarterback. Three very obvious keys. But it's December. I think all secrets are out the window right now. Yeah, I mean, those keys were basically do football things well. Yes. Keys to the game. Yes. There but we're go. in December. Two eight and three teams. You'll be able to hear the game on Titans Radio beginning at 11 a.m. Central Time. Kickoff set for 12.02 Central at Nissan Stadium. We look forward to another showdown in the AFC. For Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us for Titans All Access, and we'll see you next time.